will have expert systems, AI is becoming much more developed, um, the ability to mine through vast amounts of data about the individual and collectively deciding, that's all there. And so I think the question becomes, how do you, how do you respond in policy terms to do the important thing, which is uh, maintain privacy, uh, you know, who, who owns the data, is anonymizing the data good enough? Or is even anonymizing it not enough because it's still data about specific people? Uh, how do you control that? So, so how do you deal with the fact that certain jobs will become redundant as AI becomes more powerful? Uh, what, what, how do you organize your society better if indeed you have to do less as an individual? And we're talking about labor saving devices ultimately. And you know, so we've done that. We, we've gone through washing machines and dishwashers and that, that was one layer of that. Now we're talking about perhaps people having more leisure time because they less menial tasks have to be done because AI's and expert systems can take that over. That poses challenges to how we pay people and how we organise society. But that, I think that's where the challenge is. I don't think you can, and we never have been able to, stop progress. What well, once knowledge is there, and once the technology is there, then you can't just turn it off. So you've got to build structures in society to, to have that technology make everyone's life better. And that's the challenge.